In the heart of the quaint village of Ravenwood, there was an antique shop owned by an eccentric old man named Mr. Hawthorne. The shop was filled with relics from the past, but one item stood out among the rest, a tall ornate mirror with an intricate gold frame rumored to be cursed. One fateful day, Emma, a young woman with a penchant for antiquities, entered the shop. As she browsed the eclectic collection, the mirror caught her eye. Its surface shimmered strangely, reflecting more than just her image. Mr. Hawthorne, noticing her interest, warned her, that mirror has a dark history. It shows more than just your reflection. It reveals your deepest fears. Intrigued, Emma ignored his warning and purchased the mirror. She brought it home and placed it in her bedroom. That night, as the clock struck midnight, she was awakened by a strange noise. She turned to the mirror and saw not her own reflection, but a twisted, grotesque version of herself, its eyes filled with malice. Emma gasped and stumbled back. The figure in the mirror mimicked her movements, but its mouth moved independently, whispering, Come closer, look deeper. Against her better judgment, Emma stepped towards the mirror, her eyes locked onto the reflection. The room around her seemed to fade away, and she felt herself being pulled into the glass. Inside the mirror, she found herself in a dark, labyrinthine world, filled with distorted reflections and shadowy figures. Each turn she took led her deeper into the maze, with the whispers growing louder and more sinister. She realized that this was the realm of the cursed mirror, a place where one's darkest fears were brought to life. As she wandered, she saw visions of her worst nightmares, her family in peril, endless voids, and creatures that lurked just beyond her sight. Panic gripped her but she remembered Mr. Hawthorne's words. She needed to face her fears to escape. Summoning all her courage, she confronted each vision, acknowledging her fears but refusing to be controlled by them. With each confrontation, the whispers grew quieter and the path became clearer. Finally, she found herself back at the mirror's surface. She reached out and her hand passed through the glass. With a final effort, she pulled herself back into her bedroom. The mirror stood silent and still, its surface now dull and lifeless. Emma had broken the curse. Exhausted but triumphant, she covered the mirror with a cloth and vowed never to look into it again. But deep down, she knew that the mirror still held its dark power, waiting for the next unwary soul to peer into its depths.